Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about solving proportions, and we're going to solve each proportion. So if I was given this proportion, 6 over b minus 1 equals 9 over 7, okay? First thing, I need to cross multiply. 6 times 7 over here, and 9 times b minus 1. Well, 6 times 7, excuse me, that's 42. And distribute the 9, we have 9b nine here, minus 9, 9 times 1, right? Excuse me. Let's bring our like terms together, so I'm going to add a 9 to both sides, okay? And adding a 9 to both sides gives me a 51 here on the left equals 9b. I divide by 9. And what's 51 divided by 9? Well, let's use my calculator here. 51 divided by 9 comes out to be 5.666666, 5.666, repeating over there. So we can round that to the nearest, um, what is it, 100th? Yeah, 100th, that's good enough. So round to the nearest 100th here, changing that 6, well that 6 causes that one to round up. So we have B is approximately here, uh, 5.67, or you can even say exactly B is equal to 5.6. Whatever you prefer, in my opinion, if your teacher is really strict and says around to the nearest hundred, that's fine. You can do that there. But I, I actually like it when it's more perfect. Like that's like the real answer, five point six repeating. Well, either way, that works for me here. Okay. So let's recap. We had six over b minus one equals nine over seven. I cross multiply, giving me six times seven equals nine times b minus one. I distributed the nine, got nine b minus nine. And 6 times 7 is 42. I added a 9 to both sides, giving me 42 plus 9 is 51, equals 9b. I then divided by 9 to both sides, giving me b by itself. And 51 divided by 9, using my calculator, came up with b 5.6 repeating. You can round that to be 5.67, or you can really keep it in the true form as 5.6 repeating. But either way, those two are final answers.